It's Paul with eBookTemplates101.com. In this video, I'm going to talk a little bit about Amanda Hawking. You know, we get questions from time to time about Amanda Hawking. You know, people ask us, since we're involved in the Kindle world, they ask us why we think she did so well in the Kindle and how they can kind of emulate her success because she sold tens of thousands of books on the Kindle. So I thought I'd do a little video about it and just kind of share a few of the reasons why I think she's done so well. You've probably heard how well she's done, but if you haven't, you know, she sold tens and tens of thousands of books on the Kindle, all self-published, and she made well over a million dollars. She's probably in the multiple millions of dollars by now, self-published, and then it also got her a traditional publishing deal as well. So she's done just an amazing thing on the Kindle. And there's a, some other authors that have done that as well, starting off self-published, making that kind of money. So it's impressive. So I'm going to say there's there's a lot more than three reasons, but I can kind of boil it down to three key reasons why I think she's done well. And if you follow these three things, you have a great chance of selling more books yourself. So number one, and this kind of is, you know, goes without saying, but she writes great books. You have to be able to write great content, no matter how good your marketing is, no matter how much the market wants a book, it's gotta be great. Because if it's not, people will know. You can't fake it. People will talk, they'll give you bad reviews. Your content has to be great. So, of course she writes great books. And I'm assuming, if you're an author or you're planning to be an author, I'm assuming that you know how to write great books too. And it doesn't need, you know, some schooling. You don't need some special degree. You need to practice writing and learn how to do it, but you, anybody can write great books. So you have to have that. That's number one. The other two things I'm going to talk about are, one of them is this. Look at all the books she has on the Amazon Kindle system. She's got, it looks like, 11 or 12 different books. To me, that was a big factor for her success. She didn't just have one book out there. Not only did she have, you know, more than 10 books, but they're all selling, or most of them are selling to the same kind of market. So if you find somebody who likes your books, if you have a few other books even that they can also buy, you're going to do yourself a big service and you're going to make a lot more money compared to just writing a book for a certain market and then writing another book for a totally different market that has nothing to do with it. You can still be successful that way, but I think a big key to her success was having a lot of books writing to the same type of people so that you can get people interested in your books and they're naturally going to want to buy your other books if they're in the same genre. So she writes great content and she's written a lot of books and if you look at some of the publishing dates um, April 24th uh, that's actually not out yet it looks like it's coming out but uh, March of 2010 April of 2010 May of 2010 so you kind of see how they're coming out one right after another and kind of feeding her readers with more content they're, she's not just putting out a book so that's a big key the other thing I want to show you is her blog and first of all, if you haven't checked out her blog, I highly recommend it. You can find it at amandahawking.blogspot.com. And one thing I want to show you on her blog is over here in the blog archive. If you look at the year 2010, she's got 182 blog posts. If you look at 2011, she's got 130 blog posts. Now that's somewhere around, you know, it's not quite every other day, but almost every other day, less than every third day that she's blogged. So she's blogging a minimum of two to three times a week, every single week for the past two plus years. So she didn't just come on the scene and uh, throw some books up and make, you know, millions of dollars she actually invested time, energy, and effort into marketing and social media. And she shared a lot of great content and you know, replies to people on her blog. She also is a big user of Twitter and other social media and things like that. But she 
made an effort to reach out and build a fan base as an author and build her name as a brand. And she didn't do it in a salesy way or anything like that. If you read her blog, it's not anything like that at all. So you don't have to do it in some kind of a salesy kind of way. But she did build her name and her brand online over time. And that's also a big key. So I think if you do those three things, you write great content, you put out more than one book in the same kind of genre, the more the better, and you're active on your blog and your social media in terms of promoting yourself as your brand and your books. If you do those three things, you're going to put yourself in a great spot to sell a lot more books on the Kindle. And who knows, you might be the next Amanda Hawking.